it stinks like. It's a turd on the floor right there. I felt like I had herpes of the olfactory system of some sort. People could literally get infections and potentially die from this. You know, some of this stuff is actually alive. I don't know. I don't know what the f that is. I've, I've never seen that before. Worms. What the f is it? Worms. Leech. Leeches. What the f There's no point in cleaning it because it's just going to keep coming. Oh, it's a point. It's not sanitary. Listen, once maintenance we can't do anything until then. How about this? Listen, this is the squeeze in the mop. The toilet's won't flush, you say? We got covered up, but we can't even flush this. And it keeps backing up and everything. We're in Yep. Our inmates don't have drinking water. They don't have a toilet they can flush. They can't take a shower. <laughs> People are sleeping on top of each other. It's freezing. There's no water, barely any food. We can't have commissary. We can't call our families or anything like that. So it's really not great up here. It's like a, it's like the worst type of homeless shelter. I did four years in it. It's an icebox again. Eskimos. It's crazy. They have heat, but they won't cut it on. So this is what I wake up to. Wanna go use the bathroom? Look at the toilet. Here you go. It's unsanitary. You're not supposed to smell all night. I need something to drink. Y'all supposed to take care of us and give us water, but you know what? Don't nobody give it because we're criminals. And you're supposed to be innocent until proven guilty, but we being treated like we're guilty. <laughs> that you? Oh, I thought that was you. Who put them up? What happened? Oh, damn. My walls have blood and boogers. My roommate say he cleaned it up a little bit, but I'm disgusted because I didn't even know about it. And I was putting my hand on the wall and laying back and relaxing. His name came in from falling out. He was AIDS. Oh. My roommate suspected that his previous roommate had AIDS. As someone who works in public health, I felt that it's unsafe for me to be there and they should at least have the consciousness to clean the walls. Being in that environment, I felt disgusted. I can't risk my health, so I'm gonna give them a piece of my mind. I was not gonna be in there without them cleaning it. I just couldn't stand it.
It's fine. It was really nasty because I knew it came from a toilet. When I see people walking through the toilet wall, and I was like, ooh, bacteria is real, E. coli is real. It's just coming in here. Ma'am? We was hitting the buzzer like, oh, it's flooding in here. And they was like, OK, we can't help you right now. It's out there, no. They treat us like animals. It's worse on the other side. Damn, man. Inmates have to clean it up. These officers here don't look like they get their hands dirty at all. It's dripping down to here, but yeah, it's dripping upstairs. Oh, good. Oh, good. I saw the white girl with the hair and everything. Cause she wasn't going home. I just knew you ain't going home. Is that still coming? Mm-hmm. It smells like. Sewage. It's disgusting. I'm just at, right here. Happens. <laughs> Literally. What this is a raggedy ass jail, America. Do you see this? Water. The blankets are still on the floor. That's your sofa. Try to come back with the mop. Okay. Thank you. Behind our door is a toilet water blanket. Upstairs is a toilet water blanket. And it's OK. These are flip-flops. There's no traction here. People were slipping everywhere. You know, that's a major hazard. So we were told, hold on to the wall or hold each other. How about get another trustee in here to clean this up so that we don't fall or hurt ourselves? How about some bleach on this stuff so that nothing is airborne? I mean, it could potentially be some harm to someone. How about they get the COs to come in and help us because they've been nowhere during this whole nightmare? It's like they don't care, like, at all. We went up to a particular cell of an inmate who has mental health problems, who has been neglected. Yep, this room's gonna be thorough. Her toilet has not been functioning for what appears to be weeks. That is disgusting. There was feces concave over the top of the toilet bowl. <laughs> also urine and ripped up books and papers stuffed down. I believe there was also a towel and some clothes as well. Just drop it. somehow have assumed leadership position to tackle this room. Hey, you know what? Don't touch it. Get another trash bag, and we're going to reach in there with that trash bag. I'm directing them. All right, girls, we've got this. Miss Lee, go downstairs, get some trash bags. Amber, stand by and do this. Look, look, this is well above my pay grade. Quinn, this gets well above my pay grade. I quit at all county. Hold that back open, Amber. Oh. 
That was fun for me in a weird way.